My favorite cocktail is a classic Manhattan. So I thought I would make one of those for you today along with a couple Manhattan variations that I really like. Hey everyone, my name's Lauren and I'm a contributor to Whiskey Watch. I spent more than 13 years working in the hospitality industry as a bartender, a bar manager, and a beverage director. A lot of that time was spent creating cocktails, curating our cocktail and whiskey list, and training bar staff, uh, not just in how to make the drinks, but how to create their own original cocktails. I also had the opportunity a couple years ago to write a book called Drink Like a Bartender um, with Taya Angst, who also contributes to this site. We um, were published by Adams Media, a subset of Simon & Schuster. We were actually ranked one of the best booze books of 2017 by Forbes. Hospitality and bar culture are things that I'm very passionate about, and with that comes a love of whiskey. I love the ritual and the camaraderie that comes from sharing a glass of whiskey. And of course, I love the way whiskey tastes. I drink everything from bourbon to single malt scotch to, you know, Japanese whiskeys. Um, and I really like picking out all of the subtle nuances of different whiskeys. Whenever you make a cocktail, you want to start with your cheapest ingredient first when you're building. So for example, if you um, are making a daiquiri, you want to start with your simple syrup and your lime juice and then add your rum. That way, if you make a mistake, you're throwing out a couple pennies worth of juice and not an entire pour's worth of liquor. First, I'm gonna make a classic Manhattan for you. And if you talk to 10 bartenders, you'll probably get 10 different slate variations on Manhattan specs. That's okay. I'm making this, you know, with the proportions that I like, the way that I like to drink it. Everyone's different. If you like yours a little bit sweeter, if you like it a little bit hotter, a little more whiskey, you can absolutely adjust. Start with three dashes of Angostura bitters. You can find Angostura bitters everywhere. You can find them in grocery stores. It's the one with the oversized label and the yellow cap. It's like classic aromatic bitters. Use these in a Manhattan and old fashioned. They're delicious. Carpano Antica is one of my favorite vermouths to use for Manhattan. And I'm gonna use three quarters of an ounce of that. And then I'm using Four Roses bourbon. It's something that I always keep in my house just because it's affordable and it's delicious, it's good meat, and it's really good in Manhattan. And I like my Manhattans with two and a half ounces of whiskey. I'm spilling a little bit, but that's okay, a little rusty. As a general rule of thumb, if your cocktail has juice in it, you're gonna shake it. And if it's straight spirit, you know, all booze or, you know, spirits with like a little bit of like a clear syrup, you're going to stir it. James Bond was wrong. There are exceptions to every rule. And of course, drink your cocktails how you like to drink them. But something like a Manhattan, you actually want to stir because instead of incorporating a ton of air and ice chips into your drink, you're chilling it, you're diluting it. See, I'm not like chopping the ice. I'm, being, I'm trying to be very gentle because I want to dilute it a little bit and chill it a little, but I don't actually want any ice chips because it gives it that kind of like silky texture that I'm looking for in the Manhattan. All right, so you can garnish this with a cherry. I really like the Luxardo cherries. They're really dark. Um, Maraschino cherries, they're delicious. I will eat them out of the jar. If you like the bright red cherries, go for it. I save them for my Shirley Temples personally. Today I'm gonna garnish it with an orange peel. And I usually like to have my garnish ready before I start building my cocktail. That way it's not just sitting here in front of me waiting. But I wanna show you how to peel an orange as well. Put your thumb and your forefinger on each kind of pole of the fruit. Use this thumb to balance and you're gonna turn the fruit not your peeler in kind of one sweeping motion. And then you can actually take the zest side and give it a very gentle bend over your cocktail to express some of that orange oil that's in the peel onto your cocktail. Give it a little sweep and a little twist. You can take a knife and kind of clean up your orange peels and put a little slit in the middle so that when you give it a twist, you can balance it right on the rim of your glass. And it looks beautiful. Let's make another one. Next, I'm gonna make a black Manhattan. 
It's a Manhattan variation that uses an Amaro, usually Averna, instead of the vermouth. I don't like to add any bitters at all to my black Manhattans. I know a couple people that do. I think that there's enough bitter flavor or there's enough like bitterness and enough of those kind of like spicy, um, like baking spice even flavors that, you're, that you get out of Angostura in Averna already. So I don't think it needs bitters. I'm just gonna do three quarters of an ounce of Averna. Um, this is an Italian Amaro. Um, it's a, or a Sicilian Amaro. Um, Amari are a subset of cordials that are kind of bittersweet and they're great for sipping on after dinner as like a digestif. I drink this on its own all the time. It's also great with, you know, in like a highball with just like soda and tonic and a lemon peel. Um, Black Manhattan is one of my favorite ways to drink Amaro though. And we're gonna do two and a half ounces of our four roses. And we're gonna clean up after ourselves because we're not animals. Give this a stir. This is gonna be obviously a darker, which is where the name Black Manhattan comes from, but kind of richer than your classic Manhattan. You know, like I said, Averna or Amari in general have kind of like bittersweet flavors. There's a fair amount of sugar in them. They are cordials technically. So it's gonna make for a, um, like a, almost a, it gives the drink almost a viscosity. That's really nice. It's not gonna taste like you're drinking molasses, but it does have like a really pleasant uh, mouthfeel. Don't get too fancy when you're pouring. Um, like I said before about stirring the texture, once you start doing that, you're incorporating a bunch of air into your drink. And that's not what we want in a stir drink. You can, you know, pour to your, you know, do a long pour to your heart's content when you're pouring um, a shaken drink, but when it's a stirred drink, keep it in the pocket. I'm gonna garnish this one with a lemon peel because I really like lemon and Averna together. You wanna make one more? Last, I'm gonna make a Boulevardier. So Boulevardiers are Manhattan variations. They're also kind of Negroni variations. Um, a Boulevardier is made from bourbon, Campari, and sweet vermouth. Um, a Negroni is gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. A lot of people like to make their Boulevardiers with kind of classic Negroni specs, which would be equal parts, uh, one ounce each of the three ingredients. I like mine a little more bourbon heavy. So I'm gonna start with three quarters of an ounce of sweet vermouth. and then three quarters of an ounce of Campari. If you've never tried Campari, it is a bittersweet orange liqueur, more bitter than sweet. It's awesome. It's great with just soda, Negronis, Boulevardiers, obviously. And then I'm gonna do an ounce and a half of my bourbon. That was a little generous ounce and a half, that's okay. If you prefer rye to bourbon, you can make any of these with rye. Sometimes I drink my Manhattans with rye. A black Manhattan is great with rye, especially I like to use something like a little bit kind of chocolatey, like old Overholt for that. And then if you make a Boulevardier with rye, it's technically called a 1794, but it's the exact same cocktail. If you've got rye at home and want to try this, I won't tell. Anything with Campari in it needs orange. Whiskey has always been my favorite spirit. I love how complex it is just on its own, but you can also make some awesome cocktails with it. Cheers.